Hey parents, this is Jason Carr, Communications Director for the Crook County School District. Uh, registration for the school year is officially open and I just wanted to share some information with you and also uh, walk you through the process uh, so that uh, it helps you uh, understand uh, how to go through that and get your child set up for the school year. So an important note, every student who is uh, going to be a student in our district needs to register. So whether, that's whether they're a new student or a returning uh, student uh, who has already been enrolled in our district. So I'm going to share my screen here and walk you through a couple of important things. So we'll start here on the home side of the Crick County School District website. Uh, online registration is in a big box here on the front page. You also see it on the right under latest news here. So if you click on that, it's going to take you to a couple of different options. This first one here is uh, to register your returning student with the Crook County School District. So you'd click on Parent View, go to I'm a Parent, log in, and you would start the uh, registration process. If you need help with Parent View, you lost a password or a login information or just have some other questions, uh, we have those right here so you can come to that page for that information. If your child is brand new to the school district, has never been enrolled or registered, then the other thing we can have you do is click down here on the school's office, and this will bring up the phone number for each of the schools within our district. So if your child is new, we just ask that you call the school that they'll be attending and they can help you with getting your child registered. So on the parent view uh, option here, this is my uh, daughter's uh, registration page. And so I'm using this as an example to show you that um, as you go through the process, this is one of the pages you will get to. And this is gonna ask you which educational option that you would prefer for your child during the school year. So since my daughter is in high school, these are the, the four options that are available to us as parents. So we're going to be choosing regular instruction because that means that we want her to be in the classroom when school is open, but for now um, she will be uh, learning online. Now these options will be different if your child is in K through five or at uh, Crook County Middle School or in middle school. So uh, the options will be a little bit uh, different. So I'm going to bring up a different document here uh, to just walk you through those real quick so that you know what those are. Um, so again, I'll just start with the high school since I started there. These are the four options that I just mentioned that I showed on the drop down for my daughter. Uh, so next, uh, middle school. So again, some of the similar options. Um, all middle school students will be starting online. So if you want your child to be in the classroom uh, once school reopens, then you would choose that option. If you want them to be online all year long, uh, regardless of whether school is open, then you would select that option. Um, another option that we have with the high school is hybrid. Um, and this is an option that you would have once school reopens. So by default, if you choose this option, your child will be fully online at home until school reopens. And then what the hybrid option does is that allows you to choose uh, your child to take a couple of classes at the middle school and then come home for the second half of the day and do some of their other classes online. The homeschool partner program is a new program this year and it's available K through eight. So if you are a family that wants to homeschool your children at home, choose your own curriculum and have that flexibility, um, you would choose uh, this option. And again, if you're not sure and you want somebody to walk you through the process and help you, just uh, choose that and we will make sure that somebody gets in touch with you. Uh, kindergarten through fifth grade. Um, as we've mentioned before, given the health metrics uh, that we meet, we are allowed at this point to open K through three. And we'll be reviewing uh, that data on August 15th and making a final decision on that date. Um, but for now, K through three students will be in the classroom. So uh, for any student that you want to have in the classroom, you would select, again, regular instruction. And those fourth and fifth grade students who won't be able to start in the classroom will be online. And then once school opens, they'll be in the classroom. If you want your child to stay home all year because you're concerned about the virus or don't like the fact that they have to wear a mask, you can choose the full year distance learning option and stay online all year. We will be allocating a teacher to oversee that program, so they won't be designated a regular teacher as if they were in the classroom, but we will have a teacher and staff resources uh, that will be there to help your student and also help you as parents. And then again, the homeschool partner program, 
completely separate program for those parents that really are dedicated to teaching their own children at home and having their own curriculum. And uh, that is one where we have contact information for uh, Johnny Olkers available to you and I'll show that to you in just a moment. And again, important to remember, if you're not sure and you want to talk to somebody, just uh, select that option and we'll make sure that somebody gets back to you. So if I bring uh, back again um, onto the web, so again, this would be the options, um, the drop down menu on parent view that you would see. So I just showed you that Word document, but if you want to look at the organizational chart that we have, you can click on this link and this will come up and again, sort of show you what, you, what your options are uh, for each elementary, uh, for middle school um, and for high school. And this is something that you can uh, print off if you would uh, like to do that. So one other thing that I wanna show you real quick is the letter that's gonna be coming home. Um, and this is a letter that you will be receiving today, which is uh, August 4th. You'll be receiving this in the email, uh, which will just walk you kind of through the process. I will also have a link here to this uh, video that'll be on our YouTube channel. One thing I wanna reiterate though, is we wanna make sure that we stay in contact with you and that you are getting the most updated information. So it's extremely important that when you go through Parent View that you update your email, your phone number, and your address. And on the phone number aspect, what's really important is that when you come down here, you can add uh, a number of different uh, phone numbers, but there'll be a type. And so you just wanna make sure that if it's a mobile phone and you want both us to call you and text you, that you choose mobile phone and put in the phone number. And uh, for each phone number that you include in the process, you can say whether or not you want phone call communication to that number um, or text. And you can just say, let's say it's a work number. Um, you can have us call you both on a cell phone and a work number. You would say yes, but let's say on the work number, you don't want, can't receive a, task, a text. So you would just uh, click no there. So please be sure to update your uh, contact information as that will help us to keep in contact with you. Um, and again, on the letter, we will have information, phone number to Johnny Olkers for the Homeschool Partner Program, both the phone number and email. And again, we'll have those phone numbers to each of the schools um, if you need to register a student or uh, want to talk with somebody uh, further about uh, registration. So I hope this was helpful. Again, we are here to walk you through the process to ask any questions. We understand that uh, um, things have really been up in the air. Um, it's been a frustrating process for all of us, but we're trying our best to give you information and help you. And uh, please do not hesitate to reach out if you have any questions.